The next book that I grabbed was One of Us is Lying. Nope. Welcome back to my channel, The Awkward Book Nerd. It is me, Alana. For this video, I'm doing my winter book haul part two. So uh, the last one got kind of long while I was filming, so I decided to split this up into two parts. And so the last half of these books that I've got are the books that I got from the book outlet uh, holiday sale that they did. I think it was the Black Friday one, or maybe it was just a normal holiday one, I can't remember. And then the Christmas gifts that I got from family and friends as well. And then also some just random ones that I bought myself because treat yourself. So I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right in and get started so this video won't take super duper long. But the first book that I got from the book outlet sale was Holding Up the Universe by Jennifer Niven. I don't know much about the story. Uh, the synopsis was kind of brief but it sounded really good. It sounded like something that was up my alley so I was like why not grab it? It's only three dollars. And it's been on my Goodreads TBR for a while. I honestly went on book outlet and a lot of these have been on my Goodreads TBR for a really long time so that's why I decided to just go ahead and grab them because they were all like pretty cheap and I was like it's a good way to knock out those books off that TBR because it's been a while. So yeah this was one of them. The next book I grabbed was Undercover Princess by Connie Flynn. Um, I think this was a middle grade and it sounded really cool. It was like something about a girl going undercover in a princess academy or something like that. But it sounded really cute. Again, it's been on my TBR for a really long time, so I figured it was probably good to just go ahead and get it and read it at some point this year. And honestly, the covers are really beautiful, so that also spurred me to buy it. Plus, I love like royalty stories, so I figured this would hopefully intrigue me like that. Next book I grabbed was Star Eyes by Jen Bennett. I loved Alex Approximately by Jen Bennett, and so I figured I would grab Star Eyes because this was the next popular one that she's uh, written that people love. And again, the synopsis sounded really interesting. And Jen Bennett has like a really simplistic writing style that I enjoy, so I figured this would be a fun read to do. Maybe during the summer I'll try and do it. The next book I have is Don't Forget Me by Victoria Stevens. The, again, this was on my TBR for a really long time, so I decided to grab it. It's about a girl who gets sent to live with her father. I think because her mother either gets sick or her mother dies, I can't remember. But there she kind of learns to deal with her grief and then also like she accumulates some really good friendships. And I love stories like that, so I figured this would be a fun book to check out. The next book I have is Ruling Passions by Alexandra Harvey. So this is one of those books where it's like three books in one. She wrote the Drake Chronicle series and this has the first three books in that series in it. It has uh, Hearts at Stake, Blood Feud, and Out for Blood. And I read Hearts at Stake like many many years ago when I was in middle school and so I figured this would be a fun thing to grab because I definitely wanted to continue the series and finish it and see how it ends and I thought it would be cool especially because so the series starts out it's about a girl named Solange and she is the first female vampire born in like a long time and so because of that there's like a prophecy that says like the next female vampire that's born becomes queen of the vampires and so it's uh, her dealing with that plus like she has seven older brothers that like are super overprotective and don't want to let her out of their sight and so that's a thing too and then she has a human best friend who's like quirky and adventurous and so it's kind of like her life but I like it even more because each book takes place from like so like the first book's from her perspective and then I think the second book might be from the best friend's perspective or maybe it's from it's either the best friend's perspective or the brother's perspective because then the rest of the books take place from the brother the rest of the brother's perspectives I think where they like fall in love with someone or something or whatever and um and i think another book might check back in on her essentially but i thought i like loved the idea of just like a family series a family of vampire series kind of thing so i definitely want to check out and reread this and see if i still like it like i did years ago plus i want to if i do like it i eventually want to finish the series so i figured this would be cool plus it, again it was really cheap so i was like why not just grab it now while i can which the next book i grabbed was suddenly supernatural by elizabeth cody kimmel this is also a middle grade and this is one i read a few years ago as well. Um, I grabbed this because I wanted to see if I still liked it as much as I did years ago. I think my like tentative idea for this year is that some of the books that I read maybe in like middle school or when I was younger I would love to reread and see if I still enjoy them as much as I did 
back then just because it would be fun and plus again I want to get more into middle grade so I feel like this would be a good jump start into that too like rereading the stuff that I loved and then like eventually moving on to stuff that I haven't read yet but would like to or that intrigues me. The next book I grabbed was Victoria in My Head by Janelle Milanes. This sounded like a fun story. Um, I love music so anything that has like a music, music themed thing about around it I was like why not. Um, I don't know much about the synopsis but I would love to check it out and see what see if I like it. Okay the next book I grabbed was We Were Beautiful by Heather Hepler. I have actually already read this. I managed to get an e-arc of this last year and I loved it. So when I saw that they had um, a paperback copy for sale I thought it would be um, a fun thing to get especially since I did love this this book. It's a, a nice contemporary. Um, it does have some like serious themes but I did enjoy it a lot and the stories and the characters so I definitely recommend this as well. The next book that I grabbed is One of Us is Next by um, Karen M. McManus. I am so excited that I was able to grab this. This was on the art table at my job and so as soon as I saw it I immediately grabbed it and was like this is mine. I've read One of Us is Lying which is the original companion novel to this. Like this is the companion novel to that. And then I read um, Two Can Keep a Secret and I loved both of those reads so I'm super excited to read this and kind of jump back into the world from One of Us is Lying and just see how the characters are doing plus meet the new characters that are the main ones in this and yeah I'm just super super excited because I love her writing and her storytelling and her mysteries and I loved One of Us is Lying so excited. Okay so the last uh few things that I got before I move on to the gifts that I received I got from Write Stuff Anime. I love that site it sells manga and anime and anything related to manga and anime and stuff like that and so their sales are always the best and I uh, managed to get a few things over break and they had a lot of sales happening during especially like really good sales during winter and so I managed to get a bundle of manga like a lot of manga but uh, one of the ones I'm super proud of I just recently got and they are the first six volumes of Haikyuu. Um, it's the manga and anime that takes place. It's like a volleyball themed story where like it's about a, a boys volleyball team that's like trying to get their school basically famous again uh, through like volleyball in general. And I love this story. I <laughs> I watched, I binge watched all three seasons of the anime and right now I'm rewatching them again because uh, the fourth season comes out this month and so I was like, well, I'm just gonna rewatch them so I can get ready. And then I bought the manga because I was like, I would totally love to read the manga and like see if maybe the story goes for a little bit further than the anime for right now. But I love this story. It's so funny, so cute. I love sports anime because like the idea of just like teams and like working together just really like makes my heart warm. All right, so the next few books I'm gonna show you are just books that I managed to get as gifts for Christmas. So some from friends and some from family. So the first book I got was All In by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. Um, I got this from my dad. This is the third book in the Natural series. Um, I was missing the third one. I had all, I had the first, the second, and the fourth one, but not the third one, and so I was really like, I really need this. I had it on my Kindle, but I wanted a physical copy because last year I started rereading them and I was tabbing all of my favorite parts, and then I realized I was like, I really want a physical copy of this so I can tab all my favorite parts on there too. So that's what I'm going to plan to do sometime this year, hopefully. The next book I received was I Want to Be Where You Are by Christina Forrest. I got this for my friend Allie from Allie with Books. Thank you so much, Allie, for getting this for me. I love it so much. This has been on my TBR. I I think this is one of my anticipated reads of the year of 2019. I just didn't get to it, of course, but I'm super excited to check this out at some point this new year. The next book I managed to grab was Strange Planet by Nathan W. Pyle. So uh, I don't know if you've seen these comics, like the alien comics. There will be like strips like on Facebook or Twitter, and it's like these aliens that like take things super literal, if that makes sense. Uh, my dad got me this. I've been waiting all year for them to release this because I thought that their comics were so cute. And so my dad got me this for Christmas as well, and I'm so happy because again, they're just so cute, and I love. They're funny because the aliens take things like 
so literal <laughs> here if you look at the back like they're hugging and it says like let me absorb let me absorb so that's just like super funny the next book i got was volume one of snow white with the red hair i got this from my dad again for christmas and i uh, <laughs> loved this anime it was so good and i was so sad when it ended i was like is this all that they're gonna show me really so um i definitely want to pick up the manga again and try and read through it uh, because it's a really good story and I honestly really did enjoy it so the next book I got was Vampire Kisses by Ellen Schreiber I got this for my dad as well again for Christmas I got the hardcover because okay so when I first started reading the series I got the first like four or five in these like small mass markets editions which here I can show you these like mass market editions like this and they're tiny and then as i caught up in the series the books were like still new so they were coming out like in this size in hardcover so i have like the last half of the series in hardcover so i was like i really like to like exchange my mass markets out for these ones just to so they match and it's not like a weird height difference on my bookshelf so super grateful to my dad for getting me this because i really wanted it the next book that i got was renegades by marissa meyer this was given to me by my friend carrie from carrie the book belt thank you so much carrie i love you i have actually been really wanting to check this out because uh I'm intrigued by like the superhero and uh, super villain kind of uh, theme of this, and I've never read a Marissa Meyer book, and I I was I'm not interested in reading like the the Luna Chronicles because I'm not a sci-fi person at all, but uh, this sounds super super intriguing, and I love superheroes, so I would totally and like super villains. I love that like theme of those stories, so I totally love to check this out and see if I enjoy it. The next book I got was First and Then by Emma Mills. Uh, my friend Chloe from the brunette bibliophile uh sent this to me and i'm so excited she knows that i've been trying to get into like more mml's books and i read uh one of her stories and i really liked it and so she has been sending me mml's books now so i'm thoroughly grateful thank you chloe i like love it so much i'm super excited to get to this when i can all right to the next two books i was not expecting to get at all and i'm very very thankful for this person for giving me these because I loved this series growing up. So uh, my friend Laura from Bookies and Cookies, she sent me the first two volumes of the uh, witch graphic novels. They've been uh, redone. Like, I think they're being reprinted or whatever. And so I saw that and I've been wanting to get these and she, she sent me both of them and I'm so grateful to her for them. I loved this, this like cartoon series uh, when I was younger and it's such a good series and so I was intrigued to read the graphic novel forms and see how different or similar they are but oh my gosh I'm so excited <laughs> again like I love this series so much it's so funny I also love like the romances in this especially in like season two when they all got boyfriends I was like oh this is so cool so yeah I'm weird <laughs> the last book oh my goodness <laughs> when I tell you I wasn't expecting to get this book I was not expecting to get this book at all and I'm like crazy crazy thankful to this person but I uh, received the illustrated edition of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone and my very good friend Sarah from Novel Serendipity sent me this and I'm so so grateful to her you should go check out her channel if you haven't already she makes awesome videos and awesome tags she has a cute little Harry, uh, Pokemon tag that she does which eventually I will do at some point soon on my channel i'm just really bad at tags right now but um i love her so much i met her at BookCon last year and she was one of the ones where i immediately was like i want to be your friend i think we like are gonna get along great and i am so happy that we did become friends because she's so awesome and so sweet again for this like uh i like freaked out a little bit i was like who got me this and then i saw it was from her and i was like sarah you're the best like you're gonna make me cry a little bit but yeah love this love her i you should definitely uh check out her channel because she makes super awesome videos honestly you should check out all the people's channels that i mentioned on here um besides my dad my dad doesn't have a channel <laughs> but uh you should check out their channels and i will also link all of them down below as well but yeah it's so awesome all right, so that is my winter haul part two for you all. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you like it, 
please like it down below. If you have any comments, whether you liked any of the books I showed you, whether you've read them already and enjoyed them, please let me know down below as well. If you are not good at commenting, I'm going to go ahead and say leave me an emoji down below. I'm stealing the idea from my friend Sylvia from Wish Fulfillment. And if you want to see more videos from me, please subscribe down below. If you want to follow me on any of my social medias, they are all down below. I have Twitter, Goodreads, and Instagram. My Twitter is honestly the one I'm most active on, so if you want to interact with me, follow me on there. And if you want to get updated for when I post new videos, please hit that, that bell down below. You are all sunflowers in a world full of weeds.